In this week's weekly vlog, we're going to be talking about my marathon training plan for the London Marathon. But before we do all of that, I could go and get wet on six miles. people how are we doing this week so yes that was very very wet and i'm in the studio well i've not even set the studio up i should actually set the studio up for the videos we're going to do over the winter but um yeah we're back in the studio and i'm filming some other videos so i thought you know what we'll talk about the training plan this week while we film well the other videos really so marathon training is going to start for me probably it should start on boxing day um, because that brings me in line because I've got the Manchester Marathon and the London Marathon but um, we're kind of looking at London in terms of well am I looking at London I'm not really sure and this is the problem for me right because um, I've changed my circumstance I've, I'm doing a different job and whatnot so I'm, I'm kind of scratching around at the moment um, for next uh, for spring and I said it in a couple of videos before my actual focus next year is at the end of the year, right? Is not actually um, on the two marathons at the start of the year. So it's given me a little bit of freedom with the training plan and that's why I kind of wanted to make the video today. So the training plan is actually all about finishing and enjoying it, right? So that's the sort of the key to this marathon training plan. It's gonna be a relatively, I would say light, uh, marathon training plan for me in terms of intensity there's still going to be the mileage there but the intensity is going to be a little bit backed off because I am going to struggle with some of the mileage that I had on when we did the Amsterdam training plan now just as a heads up you can get the uh, this plan and other plans on the 40 rounds website I'll put a link uh, up on the screen but you can get the plans on our website I am a uh, qualified coach right so it's not just some random writing them um, so yeah, you can get this, this plan uh, that we're gonna go through today. And I think what we'll do, um, in terms of me explaining to you what I'm gonna be doing, we're gonna kind of break it down into sections um, and talk a little bit about within those sections and then sort of an overview of the other bits. Okay, so like I said, I've got no time um, goals for either of these marathons. My Goal pace, we'll be running at that 3.45 marathon pace, which is about 8.35 per mile. Um, I think it's about 5.20 per kilometre, that's a guess, by the way. Um, but that's what we're going to be using for goal pace. Uh, easy pace will be about 9.45, 9.50-ish, maybe dip a little bit low that, um, in terms of pacing as well. So to give you a spectrum, so that's like a minute and a bit per mile slower. Um, but the uh, leading up to this plan, I've just done this and that has kept my mileage pretty low uh, if you look on Strava it's about 25 miles per week um, nothing crazy I've been really busy at work so I've not been able to get some of those longer miles in on the weekend but effectively I've just been ticking over with about 25 miles a week and that was deliberate came down after Amsterdam and I've just ticked over that was deliberate okay that was a real reset mentally and physically to do that um, but as we start we're gonna really um, yeah we're gonna really knuckle down although as I said, it's gonna be a little bit less intense. So week one to four is all gonna be about consistency and putting the patterns in place and making sure that I've got the routine that I need. Um, I'm gonna be doing six runs a week. Uh, I'm gonna be using my long runs of a, of a weekend. We'll come on to those at the, uh, in a minute. But the first four weeks are gonna be all about 
building those um, weekly runs and making sure that the patterns and the frequency are in line with what I need them to be. I'll have a rest day most likely on a Sunday. So I you know, run through the week because I've got the opportunity that I can commute run. So I'll be using that to my advantage and then I'll take Sunday off as my rest day, which is the most important day because then I get to spend it with the family. Now within that week, I'm looking for a high medium and low effort. High effort is effectively my speed session. Medium effort will be some form of lactate threshold running. And then my low efforts will be where I'm running at, you know, just without a care in the world. It's probably the easiest way to describe it. You know, like I said, you know, that, that 950, 940 per mile pace, but it really is there just to, just to build that base and, and work, you know, in that, that really easy aerobic state where I'm really not, you know, worrying about anything, but not putting any stress on my body or on my mind. So we work on that. Uh, we're going to be doing quite a bit of double running. Uh, the reason that is because the, the one run that I'm really nervous about that I'm going to miss, but I can't do anything about it is uh, last year I was doing on a Thursday, I was doing quite a um, uh, um, regular medium effort. So I was doing like a, whether it be, uh, it was about eight to 14 miles in there somewhere. It usually was about 10 or 13 miles, but it, sometimes it was eight, so that's why I use it. But I was using that effort in the week to get that sort of, that cheeky sort of medium length run out, and I really found that really helped me um, in terms of uh, my mileage, but also working at some of those, that, that sort of medium pace as well. Uh, but I'm gonna be missing that, so I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of double running this time. Now, what do you mean by double running? That's running two times a week. So. You know, I'll do three miles at lunchtime, four miles on the way home, and then probably do my coach session in the evening. Now, in terms of long runs, we're going to go back to the same patterns that we've used before. Uh, if you follow, don't follow the channel, that is a 16-mile long run, 18-mile long run, 20-mile long run. We're also going to chuck in probably a 22-mile long run. We did a 21 and a half in Amsterdam. We'll put that in somewhere. Um, the reason we do that is because we just want to stretch ourselves mentally. Uh, more than anything else. So we are, we'll rotate between the 16, 18, 20. We'll probably do quite a bit of the 16 and 18 runs because I really like them, um, especially the 16 miler because it's a little bit less painful at goal pace to be able to do them early doors. But it, they will come in the sort of second part of the plan. So the middle section of the plan is, is where I'm really going to be building in that goal pace into, into, the, um, into my legs. So the first four weeks is, is frequency and, and building that element into it, uh, making sure I'm getting consistent. And then we start chucking in the goal pace on some of those longer runs. And we start really dialing up some of those speedier sessions and making sure that those um, tempo those, or lactate threshold runs are really dialed in as well. Because I want to start in that middle block uh, of the training plan, max out what I'm doing. And then we come into the final phase of the training plan, which is for me is all about that conditioning and, and, just, and, and just making the most of the, the work that I've done. Again, more goal pace, um, probably a little bit less intense speed sessions, but really again, pushing along with the lactate threshold running uh, and making sure as well that the, um, that the, uh, the easy stuff is easy. Now running through that, obviously we want some strength and conditioning. Uh, I'm gonna try and do better than I always do. Um, I'm making sure that I'm gonna be eating well again and, and hydrating and drinking and getting plenty of rest and all that sort of stuff. I will try and do a better job on that because running two marathons is gonna be hard work. But I think that's a, that's a good overview, a good arc of, of, of how my marathon training plan is coming together. Um, yeah, as we start or, or as we get closer to training starting. So hopefully that's useful. If you've got any questions, come onto the live stream at seven o'clock on a Friday um, and ask away, because we're there, so you just ask away. But that's the sort of basis of it. As I say, it's that sort of building consistent phase. Then we're gonna do the, uh, quite a bit of work uh, in terms of really knuckling down. And then we've got that lot of conditioning element at the end. Um, we're gonna roll through the long runs as we do, hit that 22 mile up. And that's, and that's probably it in terms of a good overview. Right guys, so yes, you can get the, the plans online, like I said, but um, yeah, if you're training for a marathon next year, let me know in the comments which ones you're going for. But that's it from me, guys. I'll catch you later.